Well, hello there. It's Mike Rains here with uh, Remax here in Huntington Beach in the Orange County area of California. Today, we're going to be talking about appraisals. Appraisal is a big issue right now with a really hot seller's market going on. Appraisals are a big deal. As the prices are rising, some properties are falling short. So what do you do as a buyer uh, will make all the difference in the world whether your offer gets selected or not. So today I want to look at the appraisal contingency. What is it? Should you remove it? And so forth. So I'm going to get right into the presentation here and be able to show you um, what we're talking about here. So uh, waiving the appraisal contingency, should you do it, should you not do it? it it's definitely going to be an issue that you're going to have to face if you're in buyers uh, in today's market. So it's a red hot seller's market in our area. So wherever you're tuning in from, that's the first thing you want to look at as what's the status of the market. If it's a hot seller's market like it is here in our area, then you're really going to want to decide whether or not this is going to be for you or not. So uh, so how do buyers try and separate themselves? Oftentimes, one of the ways in which they're doing it today is they're waiving that appraisal contingency, or as I'm going to show you today, an alternative to that. So what is an appraisal contingency and do I need it? That's a, one of the questions you should be asking yourself. So line L2 paragraph 8B allows for the buyer to choose having an appraisal contingency and for how long that escrow period uh, will have that appraisal contingency or whether you're going to waive it altogether and have no loan contingency. So before you consider doing something like this, uh, you need to know that, number one, if you're taking out a loan, uh, the banks will only lend off the appraised value or the purchase price, whichever's less. So if it comes in short, they're only going, if you're putting 20% down, they're only doing 20% of the appraised value uh, in consideration for that loan. The other thing is, is that this is both yours and the bank's safety net. So if that appraisal comes in less, Either the seller has to reduce that price or the buyer has to come down with more money. Uh, so that's going to protect the bank. And so if the banks are wanting to protect themselves with that, it's probably a good idea that you do the same thing. So, but what if the, hot, the market is so hot that appraisal contingencies, having one is a negative thing when, when sellers are looking at your offer. And that, I have to be honest with you, that's a real consideration in today's market. So uh, what do you do? So if you're going to choose to do something like this, like waiving the appraisal, uh, that's got to be a choice that you personally have to make. Um, as a REMAX professional, I can and most agents can't look you in the eye and said, yeah, I think you should do that. So we can't advise you to do this. It has to be a personal choice. If you really want or need the property, uh, you're going to have to make some choices to do that. So if you choose to waive that contingency for the appraisal, then I would recommend there's two ways to approach it. The first way is, is the one I'm going to recommend uh, as an agent. And then if you're going to waive it outright, then that's going to be a choice of yours. So the first way is a partial waiver of that or there's going to be an outright removal. So looking at the partial removal, what we're going to look at is if you're willing to pay the difference of the appraised value against the purchase price, you need to communicate to the seller what dollar amount you're willing to pay. So that's, that's the consideration. So that same paragraph allows for you to write in an appraisal amount. So for example, if you're offering, let's say a round number of million dollars for a property and you're concerned that the appraisal is gonna come in less, you could write in what you're willing to do. So you could write in your contingency uh, to buy the property that the appraisal has to come in, let's say for example, at 975 or greater uh, by writing in that amount in 8B. You could also write up an amendment that would uh, solve the same thing and you could pick the language you wanna use as a buyer willing to pay up to $25,000 of any shortfall of an appraisal uh, up to the appraisal amount itself. So this number one would communicate to the seller what you're willing to do. So you're willing to pay that $25,000 to make up the difference of the appraisal if it comes up short. And if the appraisal comes in less than that, say like for example, if it comes in at $50,000 less, then you're communicating to them that you're willing to pay $25,000 
And you can now they have a choice of whether they would fill in that other gap or you would fall out of escrow. So you're just telling them up front, here's what I'm willing to do. And that's a, that's a partial protection for you. The other alternative is just an outright appraisal contingency removal. So in this scenario, you're communicating to the seller and you need to know this, that you're willing to contractually remove an appraisal and consideration uh, for that property. So you need to understand that it's a contractual thing, but you're communicating what you're willing to do. And this is often done by cash buyers to separate themselves out. They may come in a little bit less, but they don't have a, an appraisal contingency. So that's how they separate themselves, usually because they're coming in a little less than the offering price, say, against yours. So you're in a million, they're at 975, but they don't have an appraisal contingency. And if the seller's not willing to take that chance, they may go with the cash offer over someone else. And that's why that partial scenario might help you out. And that it makes that an even playing field for you and that cash person. So if you're considering doing this, uh, you're taking out a, and you're taking out a loan to purchase the home. Just remember that you're taking out the appraisal as a reason you can back out. So that's that's it today. Uh, for, for an appraisal and the consideration. As always, I'm here to help you out. I'm your trusted advisor uh, for real estate here in the Orange County market. So if you need anything at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, drop a comment or two in the bottom here, as well as subscribe to the channel for this type of content going forward, as well as hit the like button. That'll help me out as well, knowing that you like this kind of content. Hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon.